today we're eliminating uh, roughly 90% of all gas credit cards issued by the state. It's about a thousand. In today's world, um, saving every penny makes a difference. What we want to do is encourage um, public employees who use cars to use stations like we're standing on today, and there are 72 of those around the state. And as I suggested, the average cost is about 75 cents lower than it would be if you went to a commercial station. Um, there was 308,000 gallons purchased last year uh, off our state credit cards. And if you were to apply that all to uh, purchases uh, and fill-ups here at the state stations, save roughly two hundred and forty thousand dollars. The governor has challenged us across state government to maximize resources, share services wherever possible. This is a common sense approach. The DOT hosts most of these facilities. We have almost 70. You're never more than 10 minutes from one of our facilities. This is a very common sense way to save money uh, and it symbolizes the larger effort that the governor has charged all of his state departments uh, with accomplishing. We're finding multiple per opportunities to achieve permanent savings by doing a better job of sharing office and warehouse space, utilizing office furniture, ordering paper, so, paper and supplies, buying energy, and utilizing the state's motor pool, motor pool. Separately, these are all small, yet, yet significant opportunities to cut our costs in all areas where we focus on turning these small steps into the leap of the $25 million we assumed in the 2009 budget and hopefully a greater amount in the 2010 budget. It's uh, important that we take these steps so that we protect both the taxpayer and minimize the impact of this uh, severe economic uh, crisis that our state, nation, and the globe face as we go forward. And one of those places that we think we can make a difference is by taking these credit cards and cut them up and encourage and incent our public employees that use cars uh, to um, fill up at the uh, state stations.